kitchen where I show you amazing dishes right here in my kitchen. And today I have a great recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make my jalapeno cheese biscuits. Um, well, it's these are special because these are angel biscuits. And what makes them really special, wait, I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna go over the ingredients so you can see it yourself. In this bowl, because I'm trying to eat, eat as soon as I can, in this big bowl I have some flour, some salt, pepper, baking soda, and baking powder, and you can see some nice cold butter. And I have some milk, some extra flour to kind of like make sure I need to like roll it out or I need or if, the, if the dough gets too sticky. And some mozzarella, some yeast, I already have fermenting, and some jalapenos that are to make it really spicy and, well, uh, it's not too spicy, but I like the little kick that it gives and of course the tools that you're going to need Which is a fork and a cookie cutter or a little dough cutter But the reason why I'm using a fork is because I think it's better to mix than I'm using like a mixer or like a whisk or something like that because you don't want to over mix the dough and because the yeast will kind of I don't know how to explain it but whenever I did it um, I knew that I over mixed it so it didn't come out right it was all breaking and it just didn't bake right so let's go ahead and, and get started um, I have like I said I have my, all my ingredients in here I'm just gonna get get down and dirty because you know I, I mean has to do the this job so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and um, you want to get this to where it resembles um, kind of like coarse kind of like crumbs or like peas or kind of like almost like kind of like sand or something like that. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up together and then I wanna show you the next step. Okay, so I did this for the third time and this dough should make at least 22 good sized biscuits. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese in here. This is about a cup of cheese and it looks like a lot and like again i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of cheese but i like my biscuits to be cheesy i don't like to skimp on the cheese because if i'm making cheese biscuits why would i skimp on it that doesn't make any sense and then i have the jalapenos sprinkle that over and um if you follow me on instagram i made these um i think well yesterday now two days ago and um people really love them so i'm just gonna go ahead and fold this over like so and kind of do that and it, it should mix in. Um, I know this is kind of weird. I know you're probably like, why didn't you just mix it before? I like to do it like this because um, I like it, it kind of helps the, the, the jalapeno and the cheese to kind of like run through the dough a little bit better. That's why I do it. But if you don't want to do it that way, then by all means, just put in your flour mixture before you start mixing the dough and do it like that. But I like doing it like this. Um, but like I said, I have an 8 inch and a 9 inch spring form pan uh, back there. They're already sprayed and ready to go. Um, I'm going to fold this a couple more times just to make sure that it's all mixed through. And then I'm going to start cutting cutting it up. And um, you, we really don't need um, a rolling pin, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get mine out. So I can get this rolling out. And you want to flour this because you don't want it sticking to this. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do it like this. And you can, oh, you can, if you can come a little bit closer, you can see the flakes of the of the um, uh, pepper. And soon you're gonna be able to start to see. Uh, you can see some of the. You can see a jalapeno right there. Oh, is this gonna be good? Oh my goodness, I'm so ready to eat these. I love making sandwiches and stuff with it. And I just um, did a video on how to make a sausage and egg cheese biscuit. And I think that you should definitely go and look at that. Hey guys, um, I let these set for about 10 minutes. That's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I want to let this set for about 10 minutes. They're not really going to rise all that much. I just want to just kind of like let them relax because they haven't worked them a lot. But um, I have an egg wash here, and that's just um, um, one egg beaten with like about two tablespoons of um, milk or cream or water or whatever you prefer. And if you don't like using an egg wash, you can always use butter. Um, it's just a, it's just kind of like a little um, helper to make it make it brown and give it that, give it that kind of like golden brown look that you see on like magazines and stuff like that. This is what they use. This is what they're not telling you. This is the secret. So. Make sure it's nice, nicely beaten. And I just want to go ahead and brush these 
uh, brush these a little bit um, on top just to make sure that um, it's all nice and covered and so make it make it nice and brown and if you can just get all on the sides and stuff like that uh, just just like so and um, I'm gonna bake these at 425 for tw about 20 minutes just in, just until that they're nice and cooked and and all the way through and you'll know that they're cooked if you kind of like poke one if you poke one and it's like and it's not doughy inside you can just always break one open and if it's done you get, you get to eat it too so that's always a plus so um go ahead and finish brushing these and then i'll show you what they look like when they're look these are amazing i sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on there to give it like that kind of look these actually remind me of those uh, jalapeno cheese biscuits from um red, red lobster i think Ooh, Red Lobster, you got some competition because I like your biscuits, but these might. Ooh. Um, I want to go ahead and, um, for some reason, I, I don't know why this keeps happening, but there's a plate. It always ends up getting here. I don't know who puts it there. It's not me. So uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and try it. Destiny, God is telling me to try these biscuits, so I might as well go ahead and give it a taste. Because I'm a big boy, so I'm gonna have the need to get this big one. You can see the jalapeno and the cheese in there. <gasps> this is my favorite part. So I'm gonna go ahead, I, it's enough talking, uh-uh. Enough talking, let's go ahead and slather this up with some jam. Ooh, this looks more delicioso. I can't wait. Okay, let's go ahead and try it now. Make a big mess when you eat it too. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what else to tell you. You want to try one? Yeah. Hmm. Try it and tell me if it's good. You like it? <laughs> I'm glad you like the camera person. But this is this is great. So go ahead and, and try these out. Go to, go to my website at www.miguelskitchen dot wix dot com slash site um and i give it to i give it to you in the link below but um all the measurements and stuff will be on there i love you guys thank you so much for all the support all right see you next time